this is Greg from SharePoint Maven and today I would like to talk to you about and show you another cool feature that is available within SharePoint and that is co-authoring. Uh, what is co-authoring? Uh, essentially it's uh, two or more people collaborating on the same document at the same time in real time. Um, in the past, if you recall, for those of you who utilize all the versions of SharePoint, um, co-authoring was not really available. If you know, if uh, we had user one, uh, you know, making changes to the document, uh, the other user would not, you know, be able to make any changes to the document, um, and would give all sorts of different messages, um, telling the user that you know the user can only, um, you know, the, the document is pretty much locked out and. Um, um, if you wanted to avoid the situation altogether, you had to check out the documents and all that stuff. Not anymore. Uh, Co-authoring is allows multiple people to collaborate on the same document in real time. And let me show you how that works. So I'm going to open the document. I'm logged in as user number one, as Greg, over here. And I'm going to uh, open the document and make some changes. All right, so here we go. I'm typing some changes within the document. Now, at the same time, we have another user who um, doesn't even know maybe uh, that uh, I am making changes to the document. Maybe, you know, happens to work from home, uh, or different office, doesn't even know what I'm doing here in this document. So um, here I'm logged in as Mary. All right, and Mary happens to be access on the same site, the same library, the same document, and you know starts making changes to the same document. So I'm going to open it up. Here we go, and look at this. Immediately, even you know before Mary has a chance to type anything in, you know you probably saw that note appearing in the operating corner that Greg um, is also making changes to the document, and over here it also kind of highlights that as well. And uh, whatever you know, any type of changes that Greg is doing, uh, you 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 see this little flag appearing. It pretty much highlights the changes for, um, um, you know, for you. So Mary is going to type uh, something as well. Let's go to my, you know, screen, Greg's screen. Here we go. Look at this. Same thing. You know, I'm being notified as um, you know, um, you know. Uh, I'm be notified that Mary is also making changes and everything that Mary is typing in. I can see live happening on my screen. All right, pretty cool. So that's essentially what co-authoring is all about. It's multiple people and, you know, I only showed you two users. You could have many users, um, you know, making changes to the uh, same document uh, at the same time. All right, and collaborating in real time. All right, so now... Uh, let me exit. Um, so let's say Mary is done for the day um, and, um, you know, decides to exit the uh, document. Let's see what will happen here. Look at this. Once again, constant, instant notification. It tells me that uh, Mary is no longer editing the document. And it tells me just you here now. All right. I'm all by myself here. And um, so, yeah, so you get constant uh, notification, constant notification um, and instant notifications uh, when somebody uh, joins uh, your documents or somebody leaves, you know, your documents, all right? Uh, so let me now completely exit. I'm going to exit completely, uh, close Mary's browser. Uh, you know what, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm done making changes for this document as well. Now, um, let's see what the, the version history is for this document. In one of the earlier videos, um, that you can also find on the uh, on my YouTube channel. I I showed you, uh, I explained to you what the version history is all about and how it works. Let's see what happens to the version history here. Let's see if we get lucky. Uh, I'm going to right click, access version history. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we did get lucky. Look at this. Within one minute, we got two versions. One for me, one for Mary. All right. Uh, because we both worked online, you know, use, utilize the um, Office Online, uh, Word Online application, right? Uh, we really didn't hit save because there was no save button. 
uh, we it pretty much auto save for us and because we have no control over it 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 auto saves every 30 seconds or so and look within a minute we got two versions um, you know it just happened to be that I made the first change Mary made the other change that's why you know her revision is the latest but uh, as I demonstrated in the earlier video uh, you can easily you know restore any previous version that you want so pretty pretty powerful uh, stuff now uh, the last thing I want to mention uh, about co-authoring is that uh, I showed the uh, the demo to you in the context of uh, Word and specifically Word Online uh, application but it actually doesn't really matter uh, whether you use the online or uh, the desktop experience uh, the co-authoring will work in either of them you will get a little bit different notification mechanism uh, if you um, if you work online or in the browser or in the native app but one way or another you will get notified all right um, same with uh, different uh, Microsoft Office apps um, I showed it to you in the context of Word uh, but co-authoring also works for any other Microsoft Office app Excel PowerPoint uh, OneNote uh, and that's about it I believe all right uh, let me show you just to um, you know just since we're already here let's open up Excel uh, it will be a little bit different user experience in terms of in terms of the uh, um, y y you know the notification and everything so let's see what happens when two users open up Excel document all right so once again I'm going to open it up um, in this case um, Excel online so uh, I'm logged in as Greg I'm going to make a change to the cell here we go uh, let's see what will happen if the another user once again Mary will help us out here again uh, Mary will open the same exact document as well uh, let's see what happens here in terms of notification look at this uh, again the user has been notified that uh, another user Greg is making changes and look at this you see this is not something I highlighted uh, this cell is highlighted in blue for me because Greg happens to be, you know, making changes in here. And as I click on the cell, look at this. You see, so it's almost like this little flag that we got in um, uh, with Word. We get the same kind of almost experience in terms of notification. So the bottom line is, um, it doesn't really matter whether you use uh, uh, the the desktop experience or the browser experience. It doesn't really matter whether you use Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, OneNote you will be notified one way or another quartering works with any uh, in any of these scenarios all right so i think that's all i wanted to show you today uh, in terms of co-authoring it's a pretty cool feature uh, it does not uh, need need to be enabled or configured co-authoring works out of the box this is an out of the box feature that just works uh, and a really cool feature as you know i suspect it will really help you and your teammates to collaborate um, uh, in your environments all right once again thank you very much for your attention i hope to see you again on my um, uh, youtube channel as well as uh, my blog sharepointmaven.com and thank you very much for your uh, for your time and have a great day goodbye